And welcome back, number 58. Have some time to game a little bit. Uh, we were just on an adventure with Poppy where we were uh, recovering the Moonstone to give to the Centaurs. And then after that was done, we came, I came back here to the... Uh, <laughs> not we. Uh, I came back here to the rumor requirement and uh, I believe I already did all my identification and that kind of stuff for things. And... Uh, various different administrative stuff, so we should be okay. Yeah, no un uh, no un unidentified gear. I'm just catching myself up here. Everything's good on that. Uh, yeah, that would have been down. So I need to get a graph one though. I know I need need to do that. So we have unforgivable. And what else we have on this level three? Ah, I'm just this discovered traits. Okay, well I'm hit starting to grow. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got scorching. We got ancient magic throw, and we have everything that's cursed. So we'll keep it as that. I might switch it over to scorching though. I don't. Know, a lot of debate, but blue seems to be going pretty good. So. Where are we at on quests? Um, supposed to hook up with a uh, Lodgok to infiltrate a coastal mine. Still need to meet up with Natty. Uh, we have those. Yeah, the house quest, the house tokens, spot removal. Oh, we'll get gold and appearances for. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sacharist, uh, Sacharissa, she wants me to go find uh, um, boober tubers so she can have her beauty qu uh, cr uh, cream and pimp uh, zit remover stuff. Uh, yeah, it's pr you know, it's, it, I went back and watched that and I was like, you know, this could be just like one of those like, you know, classic school pranks from, you know, the, the popular kid. Like, I can't believe he was so stupid to... Like, he went in there to go and get the boobo tubers. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> you know? Uh, or I can't believe he did it. Or I can't believe he believed that. You know, it's one of those things. But yeah, it's just a collection quest. But still, the way she made it sound, and then it's like, oh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go get it. Uh, <laughs> you could do it for me. I'll pay you for it. Yeah, no, I think it's, it could be easily a plot twist. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. All right, we've neglected Natty long enough. Let's go see what she's up to. I need to um, sell off all the junk anyway. So, uh, cruising right along. We'll just get to right outside here. And we'll fly. Should be good on potions, though. 12, 12. The maximum is 12 for everything, except for healing potions, which are 25. Uh, I still need shrivel. F I need to start growing shrivel fig. That's right. Down here. I have all the seeds, so I can grow the shrivel fig. Uh, and I need, well, I need to get dug bogs. I hate those creatures, by the way. And leeches. A little short on that. Leeches are used... For two things, really. They're used for both Thunderbrew and Maxima. Ashwinder, so it's always good to have, but... Uh, oh, I've been growing Chinese chomping cabbages. Maybe those are probably ready? Alright, let's, let's zip-zap up there real quick. Sorry, false start. Should have checked it. No big deal. It's a zip-zap. Like, hey, I forgot to... Galloway. <laughs> Stupid door. Isn't that just typical? Shrivel figs. I am growing shrivel figs. So the time doesn't pass while I am logged out. Has to be in-game or not at all. <laughs> Well, fine. That's fine. 
I'll pick them up later. I'm not waiting around a minute and a half, waste everybody's time. Uh, up, up, and away. Where are we going? Get a little lower to the ground to keep our speed up. Find our bridge. Oh, she just wants meat right there. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go sell off first. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Tomes and scrolls would be closest. So let's go see this guy. Ah, uh, it's always nice to see a familiar face. <laughs> yeah. Well, I went through the wrong door, but that's okay. Same shot. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yes, let's let's buy that. All right, is there anything I need? Oh, I got plenty. So, chop chopping station produces a by a plant by a uh, plant byproduct. Okay. Okay. The hopping spellcraft. Hopping pot spellcraft. That's fine. Uh. Hmm. So that produces moonstone. That's three. I already got the f version with five. So these threes and twos and. Uh. A single medium. I already got the one that's got uh, three. So, large pot with two. That. Um, medium's potion station. Or. Well, that's just probably a dual because it's like. I already have the triple, so I don't see why I would need another. Yeah. So it really comes down to if I want to upscale my large uh, growing pot, which I really don't need to. Uh, interior refiner. The hopping spell. Expensive, but uh, get a random potion. Dung compost. Uh, dung composter. Uh, yeah. Bah. Not interested, really. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Uh, I probably will. Man, yeah, I'll, I'll think on it for a bit. Let's go meet up with Natty. And we wait. Kept her waiting long enough. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Oh. Harlow, that would be the um, Theopolis Harlow. That's the right-hand man of Rookwood. The guy with the derby. Um, that we uh, first met in the uh, Three Broomsticks when he came in there with, ha uh, with Rookwood. So are we ready to go meet? Uh, all right. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabel. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Hmm. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, 
He works at Glad Rags, so you will likely find him there. Okay. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. All right. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Well, maybe, maybe not. Oh, why don't I look too conspicuous? <laughs> Just a student wandering through town. Alright. Walking does take too long. It's nice, but... Let's see. Up here? Oh, he's going to be inside of uh, three broomsticks. Someone is. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Yeah. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Um, I don't know. How you doing? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. So why not bring it up with the uh, <laughs> ministry, you know? Okay. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Have you helped Harlo since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Because mm, he's not as clever as you thought? Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. No. Hmm. By week's end. All right. So. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickles' other two friends. Yeah, husband kidnapped, and she goes hangs and hangs out at a bar. <sighs> Well, three broomsticks. Fire whiskey and butterbeer. Oh, I gotta meet someone else. Excuse me, coming through. Out the door. Thank you. Um, who's number two? Oh, they're gonna be close by. Well, that's Hogsmeade. Everything's gonna be close by. Also, Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Revelio. Yeah, please tell me you didn't take it. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? 
It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Of course I do. Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. Voldemort? I had the note behind the oh. counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping. But I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Well, then man up. Flippin' wuss. <laughs> oh, it's in secret. Yeah, well, it makes you a cuck. All right, ever. All right, so I can't tell him, well, <laughs> sucks to be you. Um, and less people steal. Ah, jeez. <sighs> the evil nomin wants him to, well, reap what you sow. Um, all right. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. All right. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. How to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. All right. So where are they at? Oh, way over, way over there. Um. Yeah. I'm going down this way. That's fine. Over by the seed shop. Past the Pippins. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Uh, yeah? Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified. And Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> 
I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Oh, now you want <laughs> Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Hmm. All right. We'll have to see Natty. I wish I could be able to still the and get to the Dark with it. Hmm. Tis the season. All right. Find myself scurrying. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Coming by. Oh. Missed my turn. Historically speaking, I sense a fight coming. She's been delayed. What would guy go down here for? That he must be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Ding. Ah, there it is. It's over here. These docks outside the Hogshead Inn offer a pleasant place to sit and relax if one can do whilst only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious going on uh, may be occurring in the, in the notoriously shady inn. Alright, cool. I'm just a student roaming around town. Excuse me. Rebellion. Ding. Wow. Her wand. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. That's right. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. That's right. She... Uh, she's able to cast without a wand. Everybody from her other school can do that. little students get what's coming to them <laughs> yeah, all right all right so went through the back through the front round to Matthew the must have been taken this way I need to find her quickly all right sounds like we're gonna have to kick someone's butt the footprints led to this room there must be another way forward. Hmm. Akio. She must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. All right, so it's like a dungeon crawl. I've used unforgivable. I've had enough of oh, unforgivable curses. All right. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. One, two, three, four. Five. Using that girl as bait. No one's coming for her. We ought to just kill her. Harlow says her fantasy wreck is enough. 
Only a Hogwarts student would be arrogant enough to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. Ah, it's a trap. There's laying a trap for me. So what do we would do with traps? We spring the trap. Who are you? I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. No, you kill your friend. Wow, that's fun. <laughs> you summoned uh You summoned Inferior and they're attacking you. Whoa. Okay. Not too good. Alright, where are you at? Who's next? Revelio. Bring the trap. What is that noise? What? Ah, Disabel Filbert. All right. Okay, that's a low poems that was taken from Agnes yeah. Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Love letter. We got magical diagrams. Stuff for the Revelio. Quidditch gloves. See all this stuff. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, there's a guy up there. That's why I am hearing noises. All right, uh, are we doing okay on gear? What do we want? Twenty. We're thirty now, so this is twenty-eight, twenty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, twenty-eight. All right, we want something to do with the face, if at all possible, within the head. Yeah, just stuff we're looking for. What are we gonna get? <laughs> that works. <laughs> Rebellion. Need a button. If that was easy. Uh, okay, crates. Okay. Akio, Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. So right, that covers everything. <laughs> What's over here? So we're going to be underneath those guys. Will they be able to see us down here? No. Wow, one, two. 
There's three. So we oh we can come up right behind them. We should speak to her again. Perhaps she'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Ah, she's determined to say nothing. The boss will deal with her. <laughs> Goodbye. You made a mistake. Oh, I'm not. How dare me? How dare you? Revelio. That was a big hit, too. Gotta love that unforgivable stuff. Uh, oh, I missed one over there. Okay. It's up that stairs. Okay. Huh. Oh. Revelio. Okay, from Rosie. Oh. That's that that's for that one. Temple's love letter from Rosie. He, yeah. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. No, I should give it to her dad. <laughs> hey, you know, don't live in secret like that. Man up. All right. Okay. And he must be here somewhere. Just in case. Who's next? Rebellion. You right. found us. I knew you would realize I had left my want for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what you need to do. Bring you help. Wait. Hello, Hamora. Ah. Got that person's wand. Revelio. I'm not here for them, I'm here for you. Oh, okay, fine. It's gonna force me to be the good guy again. Mr. Rabe! Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. In a bar? Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to be really good at breaking curses. Go for it. Oh, you make it sound worse than it is. Yeah, let out my friend. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Alright. You do realize I fought to get in here, right? Revelio. Alright, well. Whatever it is, it's 130 things away. Or less. They're probably going to appear in here. Thought you can leave. 
Wait a minute. Can I go around top? No. You would think you could. Maybe there's stairs up on the other way? Oh, well, I'll have to take the long way around. Come on. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. I was like, why are you not letting me out? We're both trapped. Oh, how convenient you show Matsai up. Matsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. <laughs> no thanks to you. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Ah. <sighs> I will look into all of that. Mm -hmm. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. <laughs> I know. I know. It's best to keep your mouth shut. Don't say it. I know. I know. <laughs> Ah. Uh. Okay, okay. Yes, officer. <laughs> I'll Do never hear the end of it. To take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Of course, officer. <laughs> Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. She's probably building in a big case and she has an entire large case file for it and everything. So, steal an apple right in front of an officer. And let's see here. Um, sell off the junk part. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Right. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. Oh, I have two. I have two? What is it? Head item? Oh, they're both head items. One's an offensive and one's a defensive based. Or one of them's higher than the other. I don't know why they're backwards like that. Ah, well, we'll find out. There's no rebuy, so I don't want to accidentally sell it. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. All right, read the email. Owl post. Who is it? Oh, you. Ah. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect I suspect that's your doing. Thank you for, for <laughs> thank you for me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. <laughs> I hope he kicks your butt. Uh, good. It's fine. Oh, it's a neck item. Okay, that would explain it. I thought they were both uh, face items. Inventory. 
Ah, uh, that's right. Collections. Uh huh. Docks. That's for magical diagrams. Okay, we're good. Um, not collections, challenges. Just double checking. I think we're going to be fine. Just a quick peruse. No, 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 and no, and no. this is going to be a no. Good. All right. Cover the bases. Good times. Ding, ding. Not a bad little quick quest. Get outside of town. Hey, I should be able to see uh, Thestrals. That's wrong. Revelio. Should be able to see those Thestrals. I saw you park. Oh, oh, I, it is nighttime. I want to check out that graveyard. I said that's what I want to do la uh, last time I was here. I was like, you know, I wonder if there's undead here at night. Because the ash winder was right down there by the docks, too, on top of that. And while they were under Imperius, <laughs> if, I, because you know if I saw it correctly, it looks like summon two of the Inferi, and the Inferi was just like, Oh, now, demi guys. Oh, there's a demi guys. I must have walked right next to one. Mine now, demi guys. He just said. Ah, he's up there. All right, so demi guys are in houses. That's cool. Um, oh, I can't fly. Darn it. Ah, I got my feet wet. That's fine. All right, the graveyard should be right here. There's that noise. Revelio. No one dead. What is that? Huh. Guy does more than just seeds. Wait a minute. Why is that all lit up? What's back here? Whoa. How'd I miss this? Well, it helps if I zoom in. Maybe it was just a dot. Or maybe it only appears at night. I don't know. Well, let's find out. A quick little jaunt. Maybe it's a... Well, it's probably going to have undead in it. It's a graveyard. Good guess, Nom. Ash winders. Revelio. Okay, secret door. Ashwinders. So we got scout, scout, I read it three has scouts. Your brain been infested with bondimans. A nope. maneuver like that could have got us killed. It's time to even the off. Crazy. Made a great mistake. Oh, I did, huh? I'll wait till you. I'll wait till the spells up. Huh? You 
manipulated me. Yes, I did. And now you know who did it. I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. Rebellion. Just turn around. Well, let me turn. If I'm standing on it, I can't move the camera. Oh. Rebellion. Okay. Defender. Not what I wanted. Fungardium Leviosa. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. There we go. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Yeah, I'm a little busy right now, Natsai. Natty, whatever. Uh, okay. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Good for you. Wait a minute, what was up? Oh, it opened up this way too? Wait a minute, let me get my bearings straight. I came in through here, and that was a brazier, and then... Ah, uh, okay. Rebellio. We're doing good. What? Really? Confringo. It's not going to be as easy as I thought. Ah, okay. Stay right there. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Thinking too hard at it. I'm like, why can't I do that? Well, it already let me do it. What we got? No, that's two neck items. Oh well. So two neck items and a face. Yeah, well, you can do that all you want. Rebellion. Oh, let's take the Bat Cave uh, transport over and. Uh, no, let's not let anyone figure that out. There we go. Wouldn't want anyone else to get stuck. Yeah, fun little side thing. No, nope, there's no one dead though. That sucks. That's what I was hoping for. Hmm. Rebellion. Well, maybe it's late enough. Maybe some undead. Anything? All right, whatever. Uh, head back. Oh, I saw you. Where are you at? Three XP. Those are easier to find at night. That's for sure.
Mr. Filbert, I have your book. But, but how did you... Oh, thank you. I can't tell you what this means to me. Mm. Oh, he was petrified. I'm glad to have been of help. Oh, my. I cannot believe I have this bit of my dearest Dulcibella back. Thank you, my young friend. Thank you. Yeah, sing my praises, and uh, that'll be a good cover for me down the road. What will I do without her? Namakon? Oh, that sweet boy. He wouldn't do any of that stuff. Would he? All right, we already been that way, so. All right. Uh, now we're going to fly back. And then we'll... We'll fly back and then uh, head back up to the room requirement, I think. Don't have anything else in town to do, do I? Uh, spot removal. Now I think about it, is there any demigeysers right next to me? Revelio. Any demigeysers? Is that that's inside the flipping room? Take your time. Incendio. That's your wonderful book. A curious mind like yours. Revelio. Yeah, he does have one. And we can only get him a night, so hey, you're gonna do me a favor. I'll give you all this business. I need Mine now, dummy guys. Yep, you're mine now. <laughs> That way we can get level two. On the spell. Oh, there's a chest in there. And a lock. Don't mind me. Rebellion. I can see those guys. Not around. One over here. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Rebellion. Yes, it is. Included. Damn, I can't. Darn it. It's all boarded out. That's interesting. Bombarder. Okay. Rebellion. There's a little guy. No, oh, that's a lock. And this is flutes and loots. Is that an eyeball chest? Oh, I can't tell. What are you doing? Don't mind me. Revelio. That is over there. How are we gonna get to there? Is that next door? Uh it's a lock up there, so it's probably up and over, maybe. Yeah. Really? I have to figure that one out. Another entrance. 
Yes, there is. Damn. Oh, it's just sitting outside. Another face item? Damn it. What a waste. That's some baloney. <sighs> two faces and two necks. I think that's what I have now. Rebellion. Entirely bad luck. I mean, I want to get everything, you know, 30 or higher, I guess, now because I'm 30. Trying to see Demi guys is. Is the nighttime over and I'm not going to see him anymore? No. Level two lock. See, that's the reason why. Revelio. Ah, uh, maybe it's. Protego. Revelio. Where well, do you have any demo guys? Is Come here? in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh well. Night just passes by so quickly. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yes, they do. Well, we got a couple of them anyway. Can I get out of town this way? Come on, get outside of town. Without falling off the flipping map. Thank you. Herbology. Let's go to the courtyard. And uh, flu flame back upstairs. Map. Special area. Just poof. That'll work. <sighs> Darn. Uh, scarf, spectacles, mask, scarf. Well, at least a scarf, one scarf and two of the masks are higher. So well, let's go look at what they are. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to look at it first. So, <clears throat> as far as the handwear goes... That's a no-go because it's blue, so we're not even going to look at that. The neck wear, we have two to look at. This is 30 and not going to give us squat. This one is going to give us four more offense. So we'll do that guy. And then we'll upgrade him. Okay, so that's taken care of. I guess you get, well, maybe it's good that I have multiples because some of them aren't necessarily as good as others. I mean, those were both 30, this guy and this guy. One of them would have dragged me down nine, nine offense. Well, yeah, because the upgrade shouldn't do anything. Uh, upgrade should only be the opposite side. So it would only just give me defense. So it would have nine less offense, which is worthless. This gives, at least gives me four. So this is what I was wearing. So would have been five less, and this is going to be four plus. So yeah, I guess it's good to get multiple uh, options working. Yeah. Um, different face, and, or hat rather. 
Uh, so, yeah, these aren't going to benefit me whatsoever. This. Going to give me 20 defense, really. And 26 defense. What it was? Oh, I was at 24. So, my two options are this guy giving me 20 <laughs> or this guy giving me just that much more six more so this one I'm wearing 26 or 20 yeah I'll take the 26 and then change that and change that uh, not that um, Back to normal. All right. So based on this newfound knowledge, we can now upgrade our stuff using the loom. Um, still need a graph horn. This guy's fine. This guy's fine. It was a scarf, so there's one. There's two. We're gonna get all three. Yes, we do. Uh, and we can put our we are just collecting a few things, aren't we? Unforgivable. So far, it's been working. I've been, I've been hitting guys pretty darn hard with anything. As soon as I curse them, it's like anything I hit them with is just massive. It's pathetic. Um, and then this face guy. I can get probably two, I think. Yep, still need the graph horn. I use that measles. Good deal. So need a graph horn for that guy, this guy, and wow, I just need two, two graph horns. That's because I bought a graph horn and took care of one of them. And the rest of these guys can be sold. So that's wow, one, two, ten items. Not bad. Check our potions real quick. Not potions, but plants. Yay. Collect. Grow another one, grow another one, grow another one. Mandrakes. Oh yeah, we went wild with mandrakes. Not grass, need that. Shrivel figs. Now we're talking. So. We uh, have yeah, plenty for that. So. Visibility and Thunder Brew. So let's get the Thunder Brew going. Cause, well, hold on a second. Both Maxima and Thunder Brew both use Leech. So. And I'm already maxed out on those, near maxed out on those. So let's get these things going. Right, it just takes a minute. Probably should put I should probably put two more tables like right there. Like how these two are side by side. And then put these two right there. And I can just run the horn. Hmm, maybe. At least I'll have invisibly like potion. Thank you. Okay, and now we're doing 
doing fine on that. Uh, well, we got plenty of these, so yeah, we'll use the leech for Thunderbrew. Probably should save it for something else, though. Because the maximum thing, I know what that can do. That's, max, that's a lot of damage. But, yeah, might as well have a supply. I have one already and haven't really used it, but might as well get a supply of it going. This means I'm going to have to go get more leeches. Which I think... I can get them in my vivarium, I think. Not positive. I think I saw leeches. I mean, I, I can get ashwinder eggs, moonstones. Uh, I saw... Uh, what was it else? Maybe some plant dentinies. Lace wings, I think I saw in there. Wow, there's probably leeches in the swamp area. I, I should go where all my uh, uh, thestrals are at and that kind of stuff. There's probably leeches in there. I'll have to go exploring around that. So. But... We'll finish this up, this, and then we'll go ahead and call it a session. But I have a good little inventory of, yeah, that's going to build up just fine. A little bit of everything. More options is not a bad thing. I remember when I first fought spiders and all I really had was Protego and, you know, basic cast and uh, Incendio. And it's amazing how many different spell options you have now, so. At level 30, Nom is pretty darn powerful right now. I mean, my fingers want to work on the keyboard, but... That, as they say, is that. So, thanks for joining. A little bit of administrative stuff at the end. And we'll just start the new one with uh, selling off some stuff or whatever. But, and we'll carry on with the quests. So, thanks for joining. Like and subscribe and all that. If you do, great. If you don't, well, yeah, whatever. You know, carry on. Until then, see ya.